the North Carolina DIY scene really filtered down to Athens and really kind of road mapped those folks for the thing of you just start bands and you and you and you do what you can you know and REM started out that way and there was OOK okay and Pylon and all these bands that just kind of saw these guys in North Carolina just kind of doing it they went why not because you, you might actually be able to get out because people did get deals like arrogance It'll be the first time that we've played with Dixon and Kirkland since we left the band in 1971. I'm really pumped about it. Jimmy Stoked. I am. I am. Everybody is talking, of course, about the Mark I arrogance performance, which is almost unbelievable that that could even happen. But, you know, as a person who heard um, the Black Death single as a teenager, and it blew my mind, I'm very excited to see the band actually play it. Now, what was it like playing Black Death? It was nice to hear Greer's magnificent guitar tone that used to require big amps come out of a little amp. It was nice to hear Glasgow with one kick drum, which I'd never heard before. It was fun. You know, I was, I was immediately transported to having hair and lots of it. There was a club outside of Chapel Hill down on 15501. It was called Asparagus Farm. And that was probably the first official job that we played. And that first job that we played, we went under the name Dog Breath Blues Band. I think, did Mike, did you come up with that name? I believe Dixon. Dixon, Dixon came up with the name. Anyway, um, I'm kind of a pack rat and I keep stuff. And I actually found two posters, original posters I kept from 1970 and one is Dog Breath Blues Band in January of 70 at uh, the Asparagus Farm. Then the other one was Arrogance in the very next month, February of 70.
slow down. Oh, never, I've never played Ray Vaughn. He wants to do Ray it's, Vaughn, so let's learn Ray Vaughn so he did. One, four, five. Okay. Um, how, how's it start? That how's it start? The little things you say and do. Make what do you want to do? A. A. Ray Vaughn, it's a crazy, crazy feeling. Absolutely. I know it's got me really oh. well. For me, it's actually the 30th anniversary of a gig my band, The Blazers, did with Arrogance at Town Hall in Chapel Hill the night I graduated from UNC with a journalism degree. And I made $100 cash, just me, not the entire band, just me. So I figured since my rent was $65 a month pretty much then, if I did this a few times a month and got some slack ass job, I could probably make a living. And uh, so that was my career choice. So arrogance basically ruined my life 30 years ago this year. dynamic being with Don, with Robert, with Rod, with Scott, with Marty. I mean, there's, it's like a spring. So people that weren't here, if it's a marker, this is a life marker, you know, of a place in your life. I loved it. So you were really having a good time. You were cheering everybody on. Everybody oh yeah, else. I'm the cheerleader for them. I just like the Rat Pack, and I'm like Shirley MacLaine. <laughs> All right, Shirley, any last words? No, rock on, motherfuckers. Gotta talk, gotta talk.